I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. I'm gonna try and upload this more more videos this year. I know I think I said that last year as well, but I really will try. I'm planning on uploading the uh, 2018 year in review art video. I'm getting around to that, but it will be, probably be a little while before I post that video, even though it's already two months into the new year. Um, this video is actually for a project in school, so I thought I would talk more about what I'm doing when I draw using Paintal Sai, um, and kind of the inspiration behind this piece. The point of the project was to relate or make a piece inspired by an artist that we had earlier researched. I had chosen an Italian artist named Roberto, and he worked a lot in angels and biblical pieces, so I thought I would draw an angel myself. Um, and when I go over to the other canvas, you can see some of his other pieces, and a couple of, uh, well just, not a couple, one of my pieces, the angel I did about a year ago. Um, and that angel piece was also uh, some inspiration in this new one. I did the similar gold circular light background as I did in that one, in this one. I thought it would be fun to paint wings again, because I had a lot of fun doing it in the last angel piece. So, um, wings, when compared to a human body, are very large. So I had them, the subject of the piece is crouching, so the wings are folded up against the floor. And that was interesting the way I had to color that. Um, I think I did an okay job of working that um and as you can see at this point in the video i'm working on the gold background the rays of light um i had a lot of like i had different ideas of how i wanted to do this and i'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out with the light gold um because the light grays and mm, whites of the background are actually very pleasing to me and I like the color that I, scheme that I managed to end up with. Um, you won't be able to see the color scheme at this point in the video, but it, I do work on it later. Whenever I uh, start a piece on Petal Sai, I always start with a sketch. I sketch on paper before I take a picture of it and upload it. I then do line art, and I've mostly finished the line art at this point in the video. I've uh, usually save hair for last because it's always the worst line art to do. It takes forever, but I block in basic colors when I'm done with the light art and I just to get like a rough sketch of what I want the colors to be and how they'll work together so if I have an idea of color I can see it all together so I know oh hey this color doesn't work with the other one um, and then I uh, kind of uh, erase around the edges so that the blocking is less of a mess and then I'll uh, use the line art to completely erase outside of the line art, um, and then I start filling in shading. Mm -hmm. 
A very frustrating thing I had to work with when making this video was that the the program I use to record my videos I'm finding is starting to be very lackluster. It records the videos very blurry, as you can see, which has always frustrated me. Um, but it was the one of the few, one of the only programs I could get that's free. Um, and I've had it for a while, so I'm trying to get a new program, um, and we'll see how that works out. Um, but this program I learned when I was uploading the file, the video files so I could edit them, it lost a lot of my progress and a lot of the art I did. Um, there are 30 minute, hour long uh, clip sessions I have recorded where nothing is happening and I think for some of those it the video just became corrupted and I lost video. Others I think I accidentally recorded um, the points in time when I wasn't working, when I was taking breaks and forgot to rec and like I, I switched the record. I, <laughs> I didn't record when I needed to and then accidentally started recording when I didn't want to and then you would turn it off for the next time I thinking I was turning it on. Um, I think that was that and um, just losing the audio, or not audio, but video, I think is one of the, or the two reasons behind why I lost so much footage. I'm, at, I'm really upset that I lost so much footage. I wanted, to, this video is, um, because this is this project this video is for a project, this video is kind of proof that this is mine and I didn't steal it or anything from online. Um, so I'm upset that I lost so much footage because I wanted to show the pro my progress and what I did and losing the video to me is just... it makes me feel like that... I don't know, I don't know. It, I'm just, it's so upsetting, so I'm trying to get a new uh, program to record my video. Hopefully one that'll be a lot better. At this point in the video, I'm working on the wings. I went through a lot of different versions of the coloring I did for the wings. I ultimately um, went to looking at the earlier angel piece I did as kind of an inspiration, um, and also the background colors. Um, for inspiration, I took the gray blue of the top background color and did a the way to the light white and peach colors, not peach, but the light yellows, and I did just uh, some line art to help me color in the wings and feathers, and I don't remember if, I don't think there's any footage of that, that might have been one of the footage that's lost, but, um, <laughs> I, there's footage of me going through the earlier versions of what I thought the wings might look like, I had a lot of eagle references to help me pick colors, but I was never happy with how it looked. I am really happy with how the coloring and the shading of the skin worked, and that's one of the things that I lost, uh, some of the footage I lost, and I'm really, uh, truly upset that I lost that footage, because I had, I picked some colors from, uh, the other pieces of Roberto Ferry that I had picked and I worked around those uh, colors. I had like a light white um, and then I had some of the darker browns and I just built off of that and the when I was working on shading the body I was like this is really good and I lost that video and I'm upset about that but 
I really am proud of how I did this piece. Um, I, I've done a lot of pieces outside of the digital format and I've learned some new ways to paint the face, which you can see in this. Um, I draw more with the cheeks and the kind of fullness of the face that I used, than I used to. Um, you can see I'm actually giving my, the angel some dimples and the shadows of the uh, creases of the face. This is, I'm talking about how much, so much video I lost, but I worked on, when I did the stone uh, flooring that the mountain she's sitting on, that is one of the videos I did lose, but I, as you could see in an earlier video, I did some rough coloring of the gray and shades of the uh, rock, but I uploaded, I found a rock pattern online and uh, put that over the stone and I shaded over it um, and I did make it transparent so that it's not just um, and I did work on it and I did uh, shading so it looks like the angel is actually sitting on the rock uh, I'm not doing it at this point in the video but I do it later um, the I'm really really happy with this piece I it's just I had a lot of fun doing this and I really liked the way I shaded the body I usually when I draw digitally I have clothes covering the person but I didn't this time and I really I'm really happy with how I shaded the body I didn't think it would turn out that well but it did and I'm happy with that So I'm, I'm uh, mostly rambling and I'm speaking without a script, but I didn't, I guess, and I'm watching the video while I record, but I didn't lose the uh, footage of the coloring the wings based on the background colors, so I'm happy about that. As you can see, I did some line art of the feathers so that I could have a kind of something to build off of, and I did the dark to light so that the light colors are touching the ground, but the darker colors are higher up. So it matches the dark to light pattern of the background and I'm just building up the colors. And I like the left wing a lot better than I like the right wing, but I do, I am very proud of how I drew both of them.
a lot of footage in the later halves of the video I lost, so me working on the background uh, with the, the night sky and the moon I lost, um, except for that little end bit you saw, and which is frustrating because uh, it, the whole losing footage was frustrating, but at this point in the video, I'm mostly cleaning up um, and really am happy with it. <laughs>